Me and my new friend riding a bucking horse had just been let out of a drying out clinic in Fresno and were fighting ourselves with sugar, each of us with our own pie. I was telling old Rodney that as far as rock was concerned, we were in a pussy period. What's a pussy period? Pussy period is where music sounds like it's being made by a guy who was breastfed till the age of 12, playing a $20,000 guitar with mittens on while the sound engineer squeezes his balls with one hand and cools them with a Chinese fan with the other. What do you think rock and roll should sound like? I think rock and roll should sound like a wad of jagged steel rolling down the highway, spitting hot glass on the broken rocks. And at the center of this, the nucleus to this is the softest woman the world has ever seen. Open motherly arms and just a whiff of sex. And then what does this fucking genius do? This awesome Indian with a feather in his hair to tell you, yes, sir, I'm a Native American, and yes, fuck you for taking my land? He turns over his napkin and makes a perfect drawing of exactly what I'm talking about. Then outside, guy just peels off his shirt like we're going swimming and shows me his tattoo. Tells me, I know rock and roll also. So what do you do after that? Your first night back in society after 48 days straight talking about your feelings. 3.5 pounds of cherry pie in your gut. I'll tell you what you do. You take that drawing to the first tattoo artist you see, even if he does look like some Alfred E. Newman nightmare, and you tell him, put this shit smack dab in the middle of my chest. And what does he do? He fucks it up. Then what do you do after that? Well, two months later, you meet a decent tattoo artist living out of the back of his van, and you trade him two cases of bud to turn it into a spider. And there you are, walking around a spider on your chest, everyone thinking, wow. That guy really digs spiders. <laughs>